Good morning, guys. I woke up early this morning to film this video. My boyfriend is such a night owl. My sleep schedule is so messed up, you guys. I'm normally a morning person, but this last month, I have not been a morning person. Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and doing a wear test of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. So if you want to see how this works for me, then just keep watching. My neighbors always have a really loud 4th of July party, so I wanted to make sure I got up early before that all started. Quick facts about my skin. I have normal to dry skin, very acne prone and sensitive. I will put some foundation matches down below to help you guys out. Also, I do kind of want to give you my perspective on ColourPop foundation so you kind of know my taste and where I'm coming from. I feel like I really have not had the best luck with ColourPop base products in general. I like their stick foundation, but I hated the way that it wore. I just felt like after two hours, it looked horrible. I wasn't the biggest fan of the tinted moisturizer, though lately I've been liking that a lot more. So I never loved it, but now I'm starting to definitely like it. It was actually in my June favorites because it is a very light coverage. It just took me a little bit to warm up to it. And just, you know, concealer wise, everything else, I just haven't loved anything they've come out with. So I was really hoping that I was going to love this. So I did wear this once before a couple of days ago. I didn't get to do a full eight hour wear test. So that is what we're going in for today, but I do kind of have an idea what I think about it. I just made the mistake. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush setting spray with this. I really do feel like this improves the makeup. I think it makes it last longer also, so I felt like it was pretty unfair that I used this. So I'm actually going to use this on its own today. I picked up the shade Medium 85N. This is not the right shade on me. It's about a shade too deep on me and also I picked up neutral because I have a more neutral undertone but I feel like this looks a little bit cool on me. I didn't do any research on the shades. I kind of just picked this one up from Ulta. I feel like every time I bought a shade in the light family it was always too light for me from ColourPop. So I got the lightest shade of medium that I could with the neutral undertone and it's too dark. I think looking at their face chart right now I should have gotten light 60N. That one would have been a better match for me. So I did want to also show you some swatch comparisons between the other ColourPop products. So we have, this is the no filter foundation that I'm wearing today. Again, it's medium 85N. Then we have the no filter stick. So this is their stick foundation in light 67N. This one I would say is probably a better match for me. And then the hyaluronic tinted moisturizer. This is medium 9W. And this is light 7W in the tinted moisturizer as well so that you can see the difference. So I purchased this from Ulta. It is $16 and they have 29 colors available right now. But on July 9th, all 42 shades will be available on the Ulta website. But by the way, if you use Honey, they've been having a lot of deals lately. They, if you buy this, you get $2 cash back. I don't know if anybody uses it, but I love Honey. I just love the sound of hyaluronic hydrating foundation that's why I wanted this because my skin is dry so anytime a foundation says it has hyaluronic acid and it's really hydrating I'm like yes bring it to me so this is supposed to be skin perfecting medium buildable coverage creates a healthy skin like finish and it's just supposed to be healthy skin like not necessarily dewy medium coverage and if this helps you out it is oil free vegan and cruelty free so uh let's get into it I am starting off to prime my face with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I also did apply my Enos Free Daily UV Sunscreen underneath. I'm filming this on the 4th of July, so I feel like I'm going to be outside today. I'm putting on this base because I just want something moisturizing. You know what I need to do? Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna layer the stuff on, I guess. The first time I wore this, I feel like this does not blur your pores at all. So I wanted to see how this would do with my Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. So just so you know, if you have pores and stuff, like this gets in there. I don't have a lot of pores, but I definitely saw my pores with this. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Liquid Silk Canvas and I'm going to just put it on this side of my face. This really does help with the smoothness of my skin. So I want to see how it looks, but I do recommend definitely using some type of pore blur. Primer because 
This one really showed off my pores. By the way, I forgot to show you the packaging of this. Really cute. You get just one fluid ounce very regular and it's a plastic bottle which I really like because I feel like I could drop this <laughs> um, but it's like plastic very very simple packaging so let me show you the texture of this she's a little bit more on the liquidy ruddy side so you can see the shade is just like a little bit too deep on me but I feel like once I start leaving my house or I go back to work. Oh my gosh, when I go back to work, I'm a PE teacher. I'm outside all the time in the fall. <laughs> I get so tan. Like this will definitely be too light for me if we go back. <laughs> so if you pump out a whole pump, by the way, you get a lot out that definitely is enough to cover your whole face. Just be aware of that. That's why I put out like a half pump on my face. But here is one super quick layer. I definitely prefer this with a sponge. I prefer every foundation with a sponge. But what I really like about it is how lightweight it is. So it's giving me more of like a light medium coverage. Definitely not medium yet. You can still see my imperfections. It feels so lightweight on the skin. It's very, very thin, but it still is perfecting your skin, evening everything out. So if you have like a big fat honker on your face, it definitely is going to show. You're going to need a concealer or some type of help. But as far as evening the skin tone, it definitely does that and then some. It does have additional coverage as well. I'm going to put a second layer on so that you can see how it builds. So I just am going to put my second layer on the areas of my face that need it, which are my cheeks. I really need to blend some down my neck. I definitely think you can get a medium coverage from this, but not anything more. You can't reach high coverage from this at all. And you can see how much more perfected it is on my face. It doesn't have like a dewy or a glowy finish at all. It's definitely more of that natural finish that it claimed to have. And I do like it because it is skin-like. I'm very picky about how it actually sits on the skin and the finish that you get while it is on the skin. And I do like that and I think that if you have an oily skin type that's actually pretty good news for you because it does have a very slight glow to it because it is natural and not matte but it's not anything that's gonna make you look like a crazy grease ball. If you're looking for more glowiness I feel like if you put something like a Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter underneath it's really gonna poke through and make your skin really glowy so I think that would be a good base to put underneath as well. No but I really liking how this has been looking on my skin it just it looks thin you look like you're not really wearing a foundation which I really like the only thing that I don't like about how it sits on the skin is like I said if you have pores and texture this doesn't blur it at all my texture has improved a lot recently I think with my Ola Henriksen stuff that's not as much of an issue but I don't know if you can see I don't have porcelain smooth skin and this doesn't really cover it but I just personally feel like it is what it is it's, it's skin you know it's not going to be perfect also looking at it the side with the liquid silk canvas i feel like my skin looks a little bit more hydrated a little bit more plump because this thing is magic so if you have this i think this is going to be a really good base for this the other side i feel like it has sunken into my skin a little bit more in not a good way and it looks a little bit more matte so this definitely is helping keep my skin look a little bit more plump juicy and alive so here's a final look i really like how it looks and sits on the skin you guys for 16 dollars not bad at all i am going to finish the rest of my makeup i'm gonna film my melt cosmetics she's in party review i'll be back to show you how the makeup sits how it looks how it paired with other products and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so full face of makeup is on. I am also filming the She's and Parties Melt Cosmetics palette review. So that actually is already up before this. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't. But that's what's on my eyes if you are curious. Everything else on my face is also listed down below. I made sure I use my pretty filter concealer as well from ColourPop. And I think just with concealer, powders, everything, it's looking like I have more coverage now, which I like. Obviously, you can keep the coverage of 
very light if you use a lot of lighter products. Also, I did powder a little bit heavier on this side with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder just to see how it reacts versus this side which is just lightly powdered under the eyes. But of course we have powder kind of everywhere from the blush, bronzer, and highlight as well. I also use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray to kind of settle everything in because with the powders I put on top, obviously my skin was looking a little bit more drier. I wanted to bring it to life with that spray. I made sure I wasn't using a spray that helped longevity because I wanted to see what the foundation was going to do. I think that kind of hits all of the details of what I did after the fact. Something I also forgot to mention is that this is fragrance free. So upon application, I didn't smell anything. So that is great for those of you who are fragrance free fans. And when I wore this the other day, by the way, I didn't get any breakouts, which is awesome because I'll get a breakout the next day. No questions asked all the time. So here's how we're looking with everything on. I mean, we got a heavier face of makeup today. I had some purple fallout, so just ignore that. But it's looking very nice. It's not a glow foundation so don't think you're getting that. It's a natural foundation and with the powders and all of that I'm no longer looking really glowy at all with the exception of the glowy products that I put on which is okay but it looks really healthy. It looks like a nice medium coverage and I'm liking how it's sitting on the skin right now. So, so far so good. It is 11 o'clock so between putting on the makeup and all that I've had the foundation on for an hour. It's settled into the skin very nicely. I'm liking it. I liked it at this point the last Last time I wore it so I'm going to update you in a couple hours just so you can see how it settles into the skin as my oils start to come through we'll get this wear test going y'all hi guys so I wanted to stop in and give you guys a quick check-in it is 2 45 I just finished a live which by the way it was so fun for those of you who were here for the 4th of July live so I've been wearing this foundation for about four and a half hours I didn't get to check in earlier but let's um take a look so I have to admit compared to the first time that I'm watching this my oils have definitely come through more than they did the other day but I mean my skin still looks really fabulous now that my oils have come through a little bit more my skin looks a little bit more glowy a little bit more healthy in my opinion because of the powders I felt like my skin was looking a little bit drier earlier on so now it's all fixed something I'm very impressed about is how this really doesn't sink into my smile lines too much especially last time I wore this it didn't sink in at all I really feel like that Charlotte Tilbury spray helped a lot in that category but no my skin is looking beautiful healthy luminous moisturized because of all the products I put on it does look a little bit heavier than it looked previously to when I wore this but it's looking really good I liked the foundation the first time I wore it and I'm still liking it as much today so we are only four hours in I would say I wore the foundation for about five hours the last time I wore it so I actually want to get like an eight nine hour wear out of this so I'll be back in a few hours probably at the end of the day to let you know my final thoughts on this. Hi guys so it is 6 30 so I kind of just want to get this makeup off so that I can enjoy the rest of my evening but I've worn the foundation now for over eight hours about eight and a half hours and here is how we are looking and you guys it wore very well it wore very well a couple of days ago honestly I think it wore better a couple of days ago I think it was a Charlotte Tilbury spray. You can see a little bit of oil kind of collecting in this area, but nothing bad. Nothing on my face has broken up. And what I am most impressed by is I put powder on this smile line right here and it did, oh, barely sunk in, like at all, if any. And right here it did sink in, but like just this tiny bit. So it's not sinking into my lines, which is great. My blush is sitting very happily and vibrant on my skin still. And honestly, just a little bit of powder in this area and I would still be looking really nice with the correct base, the correct setting spray, the correct amount of powder depending on your preferences and your skin type. I really think that this is a great foundation for a lot of different skin types. I really do. I think maybe if you have severely dry skin, I do think it might look a little bit more dry at the beginning of the day, but give it a chance for it to wear because with the powders and everything, I felt like my skin did look a little bit more dry. Now, it really does look like a hydrating foundation. It's wearing very well. It feels very light on my skin. The one really true negative that I have to say about this foundation though is, I said this in the beginning, there is absolutely no blurring or smoothing going on here. I don't have very pronounced 
those pores, but I really do feel like when I wear this foundation, the pores are a little bit more pronounced. Even the side now with the liquid cell canvas, I still just feel like there my pores are. It's not that big of a deal, but I do notice my pores more so with this foundation compared to others. So just to let you know. In conclusion, I really do enjoy this foundation. I like how lightweight it feels. I like how it really is such a good everyday foundation because it feels lightweight and because it doesn't give you a severely heavy amount of coverage, but it still covers and evens everything out. Like, it makes you look really good, if I'm being completely honest here. <laughs> so this is definitely by far my favorite foundation that ColourPop has come out with. I'm very impressed with it. I mean, it's a good foundation. I wouldn't say it competes with the best of the best, my favorite foundations at all, but this is one that like I would bring to travel with because if I lose it or something happens to it, it's not a big deal. It's plastic so if I drop it again, it's not a big deal. So I definitely think if you are interested in picking this up that you will enjoy it. It's very good. It's like a solid foundation and you can't go wrong with $16. It really is quite comparable, even better than a number of high-end foundations that I've tried. So I hope you guys enjoyed this wear test. I know a lot of people at this point have gotten their reviews up of this foundation, but I still wanted to do one myself, share with you guys my opinion, and I sometimes like to come back and rewatch my foundation reviews just to see how I thought of it, how I can change things. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to do so. You guys are so awesome. Thanks for always sticking with me and continuing to support my channel. You have no idea how much it means to me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.